So there's been so much drama this offseason about the future of former NFL MVP quarterback Lamar Jackson as he looks to get paid. Are the Ravens going to trade him? Are they not? Now, the Ravens did just sign Odell Beckham Jr., so maybe they're they're looking to keep a Lamar in Baltimore at least for this season, maybe more. Uh, they put the uh, non-exclusive franchise tag on him, so other teams can sign him to an offer sheet. They'd have to give up two first-round picks to make a deal happen, or alternative deals uh, can be done and enter the San Francisco 49ers that that's right the the Niners who have quarterback issues because uh Brock Purdy you know last year Mr. Irrelevant uh, has a UCL tear who knows what his availability is going to be this year Trey Lance the former number 3 overall pick they've given up on and they signed Sam Darnold so and the Niners, they have the best defense in the league. They have weapons all over the place. They're a quarterback away from being relevant. Now they can trade for Kirk Cousins, but hmm. Uh, but reportedly, reportedly from Dan Patrick, DP, uh, the legend over at uh, the Dan Patrick Show, uh, the 49ers apparently were kicking the tires and lighting the fires on Lamar Jackson. This is what he said, quote, I was told this yesterday. The Niners have monitored everything, including Lamar Jackson. They've explored that, or at least looked at it. They kicked the tires on that. Uh, that's what Dan Patrick said uh, today. And it does make sense. Even though John Lynch sort of uh, poo-pooed it uh, in his comments with the media this week, saying that there's more than just Lamar, there's tremendous players, blah, blah, blah. But, of course, that, that comes off of as we are not trading for Percy Harvin at this time. Or we are not trading Percy Harvin at this time. What, whatever Rick said uh, back at that. Either way, liar. Mm. And you, you could say yes. Does this make sense? Certainly, uh, if the Niners could pull it off, and it would have to be alternate compensation since the Niners don't have a first-round pick this year or because of the Trey Lance deal. Uh, so they would have to work something out uh, with the Ravens absent the, the franchise tag uh, stipulation. So th- they could make it work. Uh, they could make it work. They could come to an accord. Uh, it would probably include future first-round picks. It may include uh, current players uh, on the Niners. Uh, who really knows from there? And also... This would actually set off a, a ripple effect that uh, could and should affect the Minnesota Fighting Vikings uh, quarterback situation. Number one, uh, it would obviously make Trey Lance available. Now, John Lynch says, oh, no, 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 trying to dump cold water on that. That was the we are not trading Bercy Arvin uh, at this time uh, thing for John Lynch this week. So the pride of Marshall, Minnesota, NDSU Bison, former number three overall pick, uh, would be available in trade. Uh, probably would come relatively cheap. So I'm not saying, I'm just saying. I'm just saying. Uh, but also absent that, uh, the Ravens at 23, uh, excuse me, are 22, uh, are one spot ahead of the Vikings at 23. So obviously that would put them in the market for a quarterback. And uh, Now, absent them, you know, could Trey Lance be part of the Ravens and Lamar deal? Maybe. But absent that, they obviously would be in on a quarterback. And uh, if everyone just sticks and picks, I mean, the Ravens taking quarterback ahead of the Vikings, who were obviously in on quarterback, would make sense for them. Or... They could leapfrog. You know, they could jump up uh, in the draft and go get their, their quarterback uh, of the future. So that could throw a wrench into succession plans uh, for the Vikings as they look uh, for the quarterback of the future after Kirk Cousins this season. So uh, who, who really knows? And now Dan Patrick is respected. He's very well dialed in. So I 100% believe this. But notice he said explored. He said uh, explored. Uh, the Niners have monitored everything. But maybe things heat up again. Uh, may- maybe things uh, break right or wrong this week uh, ahead of the draft. And all of a sudden, during the draft, maybe the Niners just like, okay, we'll, we'll do it. We'll, we'll do it. And Because if you add Lamar Jackson to the Niners, they're Super Bowl favorites. Uh, not even just in the NFC like we're talking about in the entire league. Because Lamar on that offense uh, with quarterback whisperer Shanahan, and you got Debo, and you got McCaffrey, and you got Kittle. Baby. Baby, baby. With that defense, shoot. Shoot, man. Uh, but your thoughts are thoughts. Uh, reportedly from Dan Patrick, the 49ers have explored a trade for Lamar Jackson. And, of course, how it affects the, the Vikings because it's always about us. It is. Uh, let us know your thoughts and our thoughts in the comment section below. Subscribe for daily Vikings takes. Want to support the work? Put a little something in the Venmo or check out the store at purpleftw.net. Uh, but until next time, Skull Production Value.